Have I ever said how much I love Holly Jackson? Because I bloody love Holly Jackson. Well, good morning. So, uh, last night, I, well, I didn't feel well during the whole day. I was kind of dizzy the whole day. So everything was just like spinning around. So, but despite that, despite that, uh, last night when I went to bed, I was like, yeah, I know the room is spinning, but I do still want to read. So I picked up a book I have already read. So reread. Uh, I decided to pick up Five Survived by Holly Jackson. So, despite having read this before, despite knowing the outcome and bits and pieces here and there, this was still a very good time. Because <laughs> um, I remembered like some characters did so and so and I'm not going to go into specifics because that would spoil the whole thing. Um, so I just remembered like bits and pieces here and there and like the general um, conclusion of it all uh, but it was still quite fun trying to like figure out along the way uh, because I remembered like so didn't the, didn't a character do so and so and I was like but wait what happened <laughs> was it this character or was it that character um it honestly even though I knew, I didn't know, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, it, it still kept me on my toes, which was a lot of fun. So, Five Survive. Five Survive is basically a locked room mystery. So, uh, six kids-ish, <laughs> um, they go, they're on the way to, what is it? It's the, um, a Hollybob thing imaging that you do in school. Of course it doesn't say on the back. Spring break? Okay, let's say that. Um, they're all on the way. I, yeah, it's probably really spring break, I don't know. Anyway, they're all on the way, uh, driving in an RV. RV gets kind of, um, well, I'll just say, it, it gets kind of shot down. I mean, as in the tires get shot down. They think it's just a flat tire. They fix one tire just to realize that all the tires have been and basically there's this, the, the shooter is like, he's thrown in a uh, walkie-talkie. So he's like, one of you has a secret and I want to know this secret. So tell me and you'll get to live, basically. Um, so there's a lot of arguments amongst the characters in the RV, like, who is the one with the secret, what secret is it this person wants, and so on and so forth. Um, so there's a lot of arguments, there's a lot of like, like some characters taking like the responsibility of the group and trying to be like the big boss dude or something. Uh, and it all follows through one person's POV the whole time. Um, so it's it's kind of interesting to see as well that whole mystery aspect as as the other characters are pretty much unraveling. I mean the the POV character is kind of unraveling too, but not in the same way as some of the other characters. It, it's the the mystery of it all is like layers upon layers upon layers. So I know a lot of people didn't actually like this book because they were like, oh, it was so easy coming from a good girl's guide to murder which is you know it's three books plus a novella um but that's that's a whole series that's very built up but each individual book in that series is has his own like layers of the sandwich <laughs> as it were that whole series just binds together so it's a massive thing and then this book came out and I think people were expecting the same thing from A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and they were slightly disappointed in that but I don't get it because this book is still super good. This is still such a good book and writing a lock room mystery kind of a thing is not that easy. Honestly, Holly Jackson, hats off. 
Um, and even reading it a second time, I don't think it was that long ago that I actually read it. I don't remember when it was. When did this book come out, by the way? 2022. So it must have been like less than two years ago that I've read this book. Probably last year, seems like. I highly enjoyed this book. If you want a easy read mystery, locked room mystery, I would definitely read this book. The plot of it all is not as complex as, say, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, but it's still a lot of layers to unravel. Because once you figure out, once you think you figure out one thing, that's not the end of it. Yes, that is the brilliance of Holly Jackson. So, there we go. I had a very good time reading, rereading this book, and yes, I did stay up all night. <laughs> got my hands on the reappearance of Rachel Price. Now, <laughs> saying that, I thought I was gonna have to wait months and months and months because I was like, I had like 30 people ahead of me and there's only one book. So I did not expect to get this book now, but I'm so happy I did. I sped through this, honestly, I sped through this and I wanted to like soak it in more, but I couldn't put it down. I was so intrigued, I was so hooked, I loved it, I loved it so much. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the reappearance of Rachel Price. So, 16 years ago, Rachel Price disappeared just without a trace. So, what happened? We don't know, we don't know. 16 years later, they are making a documentary about the disappearance of Rachel Price. However, quite in the middle of the documentary, Rachel Price appears! Where has she been for 16 years? What? What? We don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Well, we do find out. Um, so they're, they're, it's a whole investigation kind of a deal. So what's her name again? Belle. So Belle uh, kind of goes all pip <laughs> from A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and starts her own little investigation and she's quite good honestly um she's not as thorough and like goes as deep as pip would do but she's quite good at it still it was such a good read honestly there are so many like little breadcrumbs throughout that you may or may not pick up on but they're there and some may mean something some may not some may be big some may be small so many things i had such a good time reading this honestly i could so just reread this now but i'd need to go return it because i only got like a week to borrow it from the library <sighs> usually you get like a month but apparently this is so popular i only got a week it's a good thing I read fast because hello, hello. <laughs> um, honestly, mystery, all that problem solving thingies, you love that, you will love this book. So good, so good. There's only one thing that I didn't feel we got a answer for. It may be there and I may just need to reread it to like pick up on it. It's the question of why. And I'm gonna ask multiple questions here because if if I just say one, it's gonna be too obvious. But I'm gonna ask questions. So why did Rachel Price need to disappear? Why did they want Rachel Price gone? That's the only question. I know there's two questions there, but there's a reason why. That's the only thing I can quite get my finger on. Um, it may be in the book, and I just kind of missed it. Bloody loved it. Will reread it when I bought it because <laughs> I'm not going on the list of reserving this again because that was pain. Um, I'm gonna go buy it when I can and reread it because I need it. I just need it. I, I would have probably bought it anyway. Bloody love Holly Jackson. Yeah, that was kind of creepy.